What made you choose Japan and then Poland? Uh, well, Japan, I always wanted to. Uh, just okay. overall, like I, I wanted to visit, uh, like many people, you know. Um, I know I was always infatuated by, by Japan and, and mo most things about it, like culturally. Um, I did visit, and I kept visiting and visiting, and then at some point I was like, okay, I'm moving, and like getting a job in there in the studio. Um, and then Poland is literally just like, it's like a, a stop, you know, like between mm -hmm. traveling. Now I'm kind of stuck cause COVID, you know, right. But it's just, it's just a, a, a very cheap country and not bad. I mean, I mean, overall it, it's getting pretty bad now, but, um, monetarily speaking, it's, you know, it's cheap. So I'm saving up a ton. And then I'm going to travel again once COVID is, I don't know, I, I know, I wouldn't say gone. Yeah, like, I wouldn't Come say gone, on. but like. Dealt with uh, or like have a plan or. Uh, contained. Yeah, uh, in some sort of the way. Yeah. And then uh, I'm right. going to be going around the world. Like, I want to, if US will still exist by then. I'd like to visit We're some done. friends. In the, 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 <laughs> I'd bet on the Civil War if I were you. <laughs> yeah. I got um, my musket ready. <laughs> Canada sounds pretty nice. Uh, Australia sounds pretty nice. I have some family there too. Um, and yeah, I visited Singapore too, but that was like very short. It was very, very pretty. Singapore, I have yeah. very, very good memories. But leaving in there. Ah! Yeah. Do you have a favorite, like, of a place that you lived? Like, if I guess of the ones you have lived in, if you could choose that place, which would it be? Um, if I wouldn't, if I didn't have to work in Japan, I would, uh, I, I'd be there now. If like you didn't if have didn't to work, to yeah. If What's, I didn't is the working conditions there just like all the stories you hear are real? <laughs> it's like about Japan, and for those of who don't know, it's like crazy working out, and so. I'm a foreigner. I get the foreigner pass. Wait, let me clear up. I'm a white go. foreigner. <laughs> <laughs> I get the white foreigner pass because the double pass. The double pass. It's like exclusive. <laughs> um, the 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 con to that double pass is that you'll never be in you'll, you'll never like be in the groups or like mm -hmm. treated as family or I mean that's not true. But like it's much, 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 much harder. A sort of black um, sheep is kind of it, like Yeah, but yeah. they'll treat you very well. Like they'll treat you very, very well. But there's mm -hmm. you'll always feel like some sort of disconnection, which I never had a problem with. But I know like some friends of mine were living in there for like 10 years. And they're like, wow. Man, why like I'm here 10 years? Like I'm practically Japanese. I'm like, ah. I mean, nah, it doesn't work like mm -hmm. that. Uh, yeah i get you but you're a white foreigner <laughs> yeah but you're white. yeah i mean yeah how long uh, were you if, out there for um like in one go was like yeah a little over a year or so but before i kept going like almost every year for like three months because you have like a three months limit visa mm -hmm. and you can do like three months you peace out and then you come back for another three three months in one year you can do that legally um so i kind of was doing that uh so technically like six months every every year or so mm -hmm. for a lit for a little bit um and were you living decided, yeah like were you living in a city you live in i lived in multiple place, uh, places in there uh i lived in <laughs> I, i'll i can tell you the names but you're gonna be like yeah i don't know what that place is <laughs> but i lived in mu multiple cities uh i, I was in tokyo uh, I know that one. I know ah. that play. <laughs> not not the city, but I was in the prefecture. Okay. I know there's um, a lot of pre well, I remember Dado visited um last year and he called me because he was headed to like the Pokemon uh center there and he was like, oh, I'll pick yeah. you up some stuff. And so he was like FaceTiming me to like bring me around the shop. It was super dope. But he was like trying to find his way around or something. He's like, God, I'm hungry. And it's like it says it's one block away, but then he's like, I don't know what prefecture I'm in. It's in a different one. 
it's not like a straight line. He's like, I don't know how to get there. And I'm like, uh, no idea either. Because apparently, yeah, yeah, like, it's not just Tokyo. Like, if we were downtown Denver, Rob, it wouldn't just be, mm-hmm. just go to that Den- corner of Denver. Yeah, it would be yeah. like, if you're in this different part of Denver that's called this, and then you need to, and then there's like 20 different, th- it's. No, thank you. North, yeah. east, south, and west, and that's about it. Like, <laughs> in, in, in Japan, directions aren't like, oh, two blocks away. I mean, you can say that, and it's fine, but uh, there's also, like, you don't follow names of, sh- of streets ever. You will get lost. I got lost so many times <laughs> <laughs> trying to find... Uh, man, there was this one time... Uh, so I wish I it was just one time. It happened many, many times, but specifically... Uh, I have a memory of going out. Uh, I was looking for a store. And all I had to do is go down the street and turn left. And I was like, I already knew where, by the way, I knew where the store was. I've been there. But I was like, you know what? I feel like walking. Let's not turn to the left, like where I usually go. Let's keep walking and then turn to the left because I probably can take another left and then another left and then a right, like a block, and I'll be there, (laughs) you know, or I'll find like the turn to to the store. Two hours later, I'm lost. (laughs) This was a five minute walk. This was a five minute (laughs) walk from my house. And oh, you lost it. I couldn't imagine. Like, if if I could get lost <laughs> in a place like that, I would be terrible. Did you did you speak the language? Like, did you learn eventually learn or just just broken? To, like, uh, listen, they're very even if you don't say the words, they're very gestural. Mm-hmm. So I could speak broken Japanese, but like what I was trying to say with my body and whatnot, mm-hmm. uh, and like what hand- kind of context clues. The context clues, uh, I, I was always fine. Um, but in the very, very beginning, I only knew, like, where's the toilet? Where, like, in direction based mm-hmm. stuff. So I wouldn't get that lost. But the problem is that where I was living, there was barely anyone, like, outside. <laughs> because it was outside of, out, like, of a main city, uh, mm-hmm. like, on the outskirts. Kind of like a and suburb, your- almost. Yeah, yeah, like a suburb. Yeah, yeah. What was your commute to work like? Did you walk to work? Did you take like the train or? Um, use trains for everything, unless you drive. But if you're smart, you don't want to drive. You like you only drive if you have to. Basically, mm-hmm. you use trains for everything because it literally goes. You don't need a car. It goes everywhere. It goes to every little corner you can think of. There's a train station, uh, for that. So I was commuting. Uh, first time I was commuting to my work because while I was working, I moved again. Uh, but the first time I w- was commuting, it was a 20, 25 or so minute commute. It wasn't really bad, mm-hmm. um, considering all things considered. Uh, then when I moved again, um, to a place called Toyosu, which is a uh, very interesting, it's a man made island that's actually like it's floating. And it's made of garbage. Like they use gar like like uh, I say garbage, but it's, you guys can read about it more specifically. They use basically like recycled materials to make the island float. It is super cool. I've heard of that. Like I've heard of uh, uh, not that specific island, but other like man-made islands that do that or have that same sort of technology. Yeah, it was it was insane. Really, really, really pretty area. And that, I was commuting to work 40 minutes. But honestly, I don't know what it is. Trains, in I'll just say trains in general. I don't know if it's just Japan specific, but you fall asleep. You can fall asleep because no one is talking. You can have hundreds of people inside. No one is talking. Or you hear someone like faintly speaking, like, like speaking like this, you know. They're very, very considerate. It's kind of creepy or eerie at <laughs> first, but you get used to it pretty quickly. I will tell you this. Uh, the people who live in New York City and use those trains, um, I'm sure they are able to exact fall asleep. Opposite. But let me tell you, um, 
th- there would be a homeless man pooping in the corner over there <laughs> while you got a five man barbershop quartet over there <laughs> trying to get your money for doing a, an ensemble. You know, there's all kind of rat eating a piece of pizza. It's it's definitely not like Japan at all. A rat that's my that's with my own pizzeria, like in yeah, New York like, Times. Yeah. Hey, you want a slice? Totally uh, hey, I'm just trying to make a living. Come I on. I paid for that. Like, hey. 